All right, this video is on how to program the nano light controller. Now on this controller, we have, uh, there's 16 LED channels shown here. Now instead of the normal pin headers or the screw headers or the right angle headers, I've just got LEDs soldered right to the board. So anyway, when you wire it to your plane, you're, you're going to wire it in your own way, but I've done this for simplicity. Now the channels are paired, so it goes one, two, three, four, going on down. So I've kind of got them color coded in pairs, so the green pair, yellow, red, so on and so forth. So I just plug this in right now. It's in a receiver that don't, doesn't have a signal. Um, this would be in a configuration where you're just strictly running it off of um, um, receiver power. So basically not using the, if you don't have an empty channel, you can just plug it into your battery plug and it will just light the LEDs and you'll only have basically one set of functions to program. Um, if you do turn on your transmitter, um, your center position will be this default position and then left and right will be your other two sets. So I'm going to show you how to program first. So right now we're going to do the either the the no signal or the center signal configuration. So basically you're going to programming mode. I have a, a remote here. Um, it needs to be programmed for Sony codes. And just as it's running right now, it's running to be all on. You just simply go through the channel and you you can switch through which pair you want to program okay so the different functions is one is on zero is off and then you have a slow flash and then a faster flash this one's twice the period or twice the frequency now as you'll notice everything's programmed in pairs and generally the left and the right side do alternating things so this is for left wing right wing sort of uh, symmetry or um, to keep everything opposite but the same if that makes sense anyway um, so let's say let's program this one on a a slower blink and let's go to the next channel hit channel up and do this one a number three a faster blink okay when you're done programming you can just hit power and they'll go back to their behavior and so as you'll see that the yellow pair is going twice as fast as the green pair so um, let's go through play with some other functions. So just hit channel up again and go through the program now. Um, let's let's keep this fairly simple. Um, let's turn back these uh, on. Okay, these are on again. Okay, let's play with these ones. So this one will do a um, a slow double blink. This one's a medium double blink. And this one is the number six, a fast double blink. I hope you I hit four, five, and six. Hit power to get out of programming mode. And so as you can see, they all have a different period to them. The red pair is going the slowest. The green is medium, and then the and then the uh, the yellows are actually all blinking at the same time. It, it's quick enough that they they run at the same time. So there's perfect symmetry there. Okay, let's go back into programming mode. Um, Let's reset those back to one. Okay. Okay, we're good. Now let's do the same thing. Let's do uh, let's do the red set as a triple strobe. This is the slow triple. Um, eight is the medium triple, and nine is the fast triple. Okay. Exit our programming. And there you go, if that makes sense. Okay, now something else you can do is by hitting the volume control, you can speed up the function. See, now it's booking it, right? Or you can slow it down. And there is its... I think that's the slowest. That's pretty slow. <laughs> So the fa that's the functionality. Um, now to get to your different channels, um, I'll get my transmitter here and turn it on. Okay, so right now it's in center position. Now if I switch switch it to left position, um, now they're all on again. That's their default left position. So in the left position, let's program these to be on, off, on, off, on off on off okay hit power there you go so that is what my left position looks like right let's go back to center position 
that's still doing that. Let's go over to right position. Now those are all on still. Let, let's do uh, let's program these. Hit channel up to get in programming mode. Let's do let's do one of everything. Let's do a, a two, a slow blink, a fast blink, slow double, medium double, fast double, slow triple, medium triple, fast triple. Okay. So now our right position is doing some wild stuff. Okay. So that's doing everything. Um, let's speed up the program a little bit. Okay. So the function is a kind of a global speed for it. Um, so there you go. There's the uh, there's the right. Now if we go back over to center, the transmitter. There's what we program our center to do, and we go back over to left, and that's our left configuration. So it's basically how it works. It's pretty easy. Um, anyway, as you're wiring it, some considerations. These are important. Um, these will help you out. Um, Left and right, you'll want to do opposite sides of your plane where applicable, like for your different wings to your strobes, do left strobe, right strobe. Another thing is all the positives on the top of the board, or if you're using the pin headers, it'll be labeled, uh, or the screw headers. Um, all the positives are the same. So if you have a wing and you have four lights on the wing, you can run one positive, and then coming back, you'll run four of the negative LED wires into the bottom of the board. So it's basically how it's set up. Um, and anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.